Okay, so so tell your story, like introduce yourself and okay. tell your story. Okay. I'm Jen Sherman. <laughs> hey, Jen Sherman. I want to hear the coolest thing about me because yes. I don't have that much cool shit going on. I think you're on. very cool. Okay. I was, and I guess still am, the very first Peloton instructor. I know this. So there's over 50 of us now. Yes. And back in the day, we were a small knit little What year crew. did you become the first Peloton instructor? John Foley hired me in 2013. Okay. John, you send an email. I... I'm impressed. You've done your. You've yes. Done, yes. You send an email. I, I send an email. It, it. My life changed with hitting send. Send on an email for real. At 42 years old. Okay. Well, let me back up. I already was a cycling instructor. Okay. I live in New Jersey. I was teaching um, classes out in New Jersey in a small little studio in my town. I had like a three minute drive to work, and I read what I always reference as what I thought was the first. I think was the first piece or article that was written on a startup called Peloton. Okay. This is like pre anybody even knowing how to say okay. the word. Yep. We're yep. talking, you know. Um, and I read this article on Well and Good. Okay. All right. That's where I found it. And it talked about this idea, this incredible concept. I mean, I definitely was like, huh, this sounds really interesting. There was an email address on the bottom of this piece. Okay. This is pre a studio opening. This is pre yeah, this people. Is pre this is pre Peloton. Kickstarter this is like, campaign. Yeah. This is pre. It's random little cycling just random startup. And I've got this busy little cycling career in yeah. suburban New Jersey. You know, I'm doing my thing, and I send an email, never expecting to hear back from anyone, and didn't even know who I would hear back from. Yeah, it wasn't addressed to John Foley. It wasn't addressed to Tom Cortese, one of our founders. It was just a generic Peloton address, and I sent off an email just basically saying. This is fucking brilliant. I would love in. I want to talk to somebody here. Yep. I'm already a cycling instructor, and this is why you need to hire me. And the subject of your email was, you need to hire me. This is why you need to hire me. That, which is a great headline. Listen, it was either going to go unread, not read, read, you yeah. know. Um, so they write you back. They write me back. I, uh, yeah. John himself wrote back like a week later, never expected to hear back, and it started off with... Um, do you want to, you know, I would love to tell you about our vision here, okay. what we're doing here. He had said to me in that first interaction, we've gotten so many emails and you're one of the only people we've responded to so far. There was something about my email that That's connected. Great. My email is mortifyingly embarrassing, but it's precious but it's to me because it's the so thing. direct email but it initiated so much for you. I kicked the shit off. Yeah, like that is right. what that's what did it. That's, that's what awesome. it turned my and, and turned my life around. Yeah. We'll get to that. Anyway, so um, it started out with, come on into the city, Jen. Let's have grab a cup of coffee. Okay. I want to talk to you about Peloton. Have you ever worked for a startup before? No. Um, do you know how startups work, how crazy it can be? No, but I'm in. I think it's genius, and I'm, and I'm all ears. Okay. That opportunity came to me just as I was, I thought, about to start my own dream of opening my own cycling studio in the suburbs. Okay. I was really close. Okay. Partnerships, money. You're like ready to go. Ready to go. And I had sent that email, not thinking all that much about it. I went in to meet Foley for that cup of coffee, not thinking all that much about it. And I left that hour long conversation being like, I have to now go back to my partner yeah. and, and explain that I'm not, I'm not opening, op I'm not this, opening this business yeah. because this sounds you believed the vision. I believed it. Yeah. I'd be lying if I told you I had any idea what it would actually turn into. Yeah. Or what the community would turn yeah. into. There was no way to foresee any of that. Yeah. I just thought it was fucking brilliant. The only part I questioned, and I yeah. said this to John, because I was, I started out as an indoor cyclist. I was one of those crazies that, yeah. you know, took Cycle seven, all the time. All the time. Okay. And I wasn't sure about the piece about working out at home from the perspective of not being in that cycling room. Because it was so foreign back then. Like, I remember my first Peloton ride where I was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, like, listen, it's so weird. It's now weird. it's very normal. And also, I think with, with indoor cycling, yeah. and you would know this, there is an energy in that room. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. And that was always a piece of it. Yeah. So that was going to be lost, but I couldn't have imagined what was going to be gained. Yeah, that's awesome. And uh, that's really how it how started. How many classes have you taught since? It's so funny. I just sat on camera the other day for, I just talk shit on camera. I, I just, you know, yeah, you're and I mouth. just this week I said, 
Can someone please fucking tell me how many classes I've taught here? Because I don't know. I don't even know how many thousands of classes I've taught. Okay, but that's it's, so it's cool. Thousands and thousands.